What's up guys? It's Biggie's Hobbies. And so surprisingly, the pistons came in like under two to three days or you know, it was three or four days and I did not expect them to come in today. So we're gonna get straight to putting this bitch back together. And you know, feeling a lot better about myself today and this fucking sled. Everything is um, checked out. Oil pumps working, carbs are working. Everything's ready to go. Got these brand new pistons. I got new pistons, new rings, new C-clips, and whatever the rod inside is called. Got a new one, new on um, both set for both pistons. Holy shit! All right. So, and you want to make sure with these, the arrow is facing this way and on your um rings and your pistons there is this little notch and you need to make sure that when you when you put the head on or the jug that you're squeezing it right there because if you don't your rings are gonna blow trust me it's just not not gonna work so you need to put them right there and usually the opening or the notch is usually facing the intake side most of the time because the exhaust side is taking most of the pressure just because um, that's why they put it on this side because the exhaust is taking most of the pressure so it's a full ring so it's good on that side. That's that's what I think. I don't know if I'm right though. But yeah, I've got new uh, oil lines. I think I'm going to do new fuel lines. Just got to go to the store and get some. I'll do that soon so I can actually see if I'm getting good fuel through them. And so I'm gonna pop this other head back on. It takes two hands, so I can't really record it, but uh, I'll see you guys there. Got the heads on. Now I'm gonna be torquing the bolts to 24 to 28 foot pounds of torque. And I will show you guys me torquing the head bolts after that. All right, so I'm torquing the head bolts right now. I'm doing a star pattern. First, I got them. Um, Okay, first I got them tight with just this, so I'm going to start pattern. Now I'm back with the torque wrench. So I'm going to around to the start pattern. So, start with this one. And then I got to switch my socket. To this bigger one, right here. We're going to go crisscross. Crash again, come here to here. Come here to here. Come here to here. Come here to here. Alright, so I got the heads on. Got them torqued, got the heat shield on for the exhaust, got the heat shield on for the carburetors, got the boots on, got the carburetors on. Oh, that's looking mint. I'm ha I have no leaks right now. You can see that new line in there. I did just clean and uh, put new gaskets in the fuel pump. Um, it's a vacuum fuel pump. I'll do a video, another, I'll do another video on me um, taking that apart and putting new seals in, but that's all the good, all good to go, no leaks. There's no leaks anywhere. I can give you a little, a little sound taste of the compression. So there's no spark, no spark plugs are plugged in right now, because if you have the spark plugs in, it just builds compression. So I could put like a, piece of paper there but I don't want to suck a piece of paper into the engine but she has good compression I put my finger on both sides while someone pulled it and they're both popping sucking so all good to go and then the other day I did a um, crankcase fluid change and uh, tightened the chain tensioner so that's pretty simple you literally just take off the cover Tighten it, put it back on, and then fill it up. 
So I, I didn't, I couldn't find any information on where the fill line was, but the fill holes here and all of these bolts are all one, two, three. These are the same and this one's small so, and that one's the lowest point one. So I just figured usually with like transmissions or there's a bolt or something like that, you just, or a crankcase or a diff, you take that bolt out and you just keep filling until it starts draining out of that a steady flow. Put that back in and she's good to go. So next video will be the startup. Wish me luck. Send some prayers and hope. See you guys on the other side.